Hey guys, Caleb here. It's been a while since I've done a video, and to be frank, I just have not been too inspired. Yesterday, Chris Lacey updated Action Launcher 3 to version 3.5, introducing the quick bar and some customization. I want to show you that really quickly. Pull up Action Launcher settings. I'm going to go to quick bar. This is new. Uh, you can drag things around, add icons. Basically, you just click on the plus fab. He's got some presets for you. You can do groups. But when I saw custom, I got a little excited. You can do the Action Launcher uh, preset settings. You can obviously select just an app. Uh, and then there are the shortcuts. Once I saw that this was here, I knew that I was going to see Tasker. And that's when I got excited. So, why is that exciting to me? Let's say I'm pulling out my phone and I want to send out a tweet. I just had a good thought, something that I think you guys might enjoy. Uh, you know, currently I have to open my phone, go to Phoenix, which is my Twitter app, and then I need to click on the plus sign, and then I'm here. So let me back out a little bit. Now what I want to do is I wanted to be able to just to click a button up here on that quick bar and you see that pencil. I've already done it. So I'm going to click on that. Now it opens Phoenix for me and it clicks on the plus sign. And that's all I got to do. It's a, a little bit less in steps, which I always appreciate. So how do I do that? Go to Tasker, scroll over to your task, click on the plus sign to compose, uh, I'm sorry, to create a task. Last night I created this one, Compose Tweet. And this is all that I have to do. I mean, I told it to launch my Twitter app, which is Phoenix. I told it to wait a few milliseconds. And then I did a auto input action. And that's, uh, auto input is a plugin that you can get on the Play Store. It's amazing. Can't uh, encourage you guys checking that out uh, uh, enough. So... Auto input is basically doing all the key presses for me. It's you know basically once Phoenix is open, it knows to look for that green fab button, and when it sees it, it just clicks it for me. So it's one less thing for me to do. So then you just go to your quick bar, you add a custom shortcut, you go to task shortcut, and then you assign that task that you just created in Tasker. That's all there is to it. And you know, you can edit icons. I just figured a, this, these are the ones that uh, are your options that Chris put in here. Uh, I used the pencil. I figured that was probably the best thing for composing a tweet. I didn't see like a bird or a Twitter icon or anything like that. So um, you can remove these, you can change the order, do whatever you want to do. So I guess the reason why I'm so excited about this. Prior versions of any launcher, including Android or Action Launcher 2, I was not using the quick bar. I actually had it removed from my screen. Action Launcher 3 started changing colors with your wallpaper. So for those who aren't familiar, let me pull up, tap it real quick. Well, see how it's kind of that slate gray blue? I'm going to go to tap it, which is my wallpaper app. Let me... I'm going to keep the same wallpaper style. I'll just change the colors to prove my point. Go ahead and do this really quickly. Eh, change it up a little bit more than that. I still got that blue a little bit. Alright. Set the wallpaper. Go back here. And when the wallpaper changes, you'll notice that the quick bar uh, is themed. It'll also change. There we go. As well as the um, app door so you know if I want to send you guys a message I can click on that boom new video coming boom that's all I gotta do all right guys hope you enjoyed it definitely recommend going out and checking the new action launcher let me know what you guys are doing with it have a good one